inside the physical sky if you click on it uh, the basic tab what I will do first as you can see you have sky Sun atmosphere clouds I would start you know one by one enable sky uh, time location is your first tab it's really easy all you have to do is click now and it will adjust it to the timing that you want you know if you want to do a night scene obviously you know you will go for example you know 10 o'clock or and uh, you can do current time you can do today you can go uh, you know by city depending where you are you know for example you know I have a preset New York it's really easy you just pick a time pick a day at a time and um, it's that's about it for this section you know that's how you get a night scene or a day scene or a midday scene you know it's really up to you uh, the next tab you have uh, the actual sky so you have uh, you know the horizon line how warm the sky is, the intensity. It's kind of like self-explanatory, just kind of like Photoshop filters, either get brighter or darker. And then we have uh, the turbidity and uh, the ozone. This is how you get the really like foggy and uh, really nice atmosphere in your sky. So you would uh, have to crank up these settings quite a bit, maybe like 10% or uh, 10. And then you would do the ozone as well. Just, you have to really play around with these settings and uh, see what they do for you. Also in here you have atmosphere strength, uh, really self-explanatory, uh, the effect of turbidity, maybe let's do 50%. And the next thing we're gonna do, we'll just enable atmosphere, go inside here and play around with the, the different phase that you have, saturation, gamma, uh, world scale. Let me just give a quick render to see what it looks like because you know after clicking around for too much, you kind of lose track of what you did. Uh, so let me just give it a quick render. So as you can see, guys, as it's rendering, we're really getting it like a really foggy and uh, humidity kind of look. And, uh, you know, the sun's going down. And you don't really get to see the sun because of that kind of look. It's really nice. And uh, you can play around with these settings and go uh, go to town, you know, with all kinds of different looks. Physical Sky is really fun. And uh, after that, let me just, maybe I'll crank up the uh, global emission settings once again and uh, try to get a better result in terms of uh, the lighting. So let's do that next. And uh, for the clouds, if you want to play around with the clouds, it's the same thing. Uh, go to the basic tab, uh, activate uh, clouds, and then you have the tab open here. So now you can click on clouds. And all it is is kind of like layers. So let me just deactivate all of these layers. And start with layer one. And all, all you have to do is uh, choose a noise. You know, for example, we'll do fire. Yeah, this one doesn't really work. Electric. And you get all kinds of different clouds that way. And then from there, you can play around with thickness, density, and coverage. So for the coverage, let's do maybe 100% so we get more clouds. Or maybe that's a little too much. Uh, let's try 50 maybe. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We get a really nice result there. And uh, density, let's maybe bring it down to 150. Maybe even 100. Should be, you get a little preview here, it looks really nice. And then from there, once you have your first layer of uh, uh, clouds, also you can control the um, color as well. So maybe we'll just do like a red sky or, or the red uh, clouds like this. That's <laughs> really trippy. And now let's do a, one more layer on top. So let's activate layer two. And now we have something like this, as you can see. And it's kind of overlaying the red uh, clouds too much. So maybe for the density, Bring it to 50%. And I think it went away, so let's do maybe 100. Yeah, just a really slight change there. That's good. And like I said, you can keep adding different layers and uh, uh, go, uh, go really crazy with the creation of clouds. Also, inside here you have the cloud tool. where you can do is basically draw your own clouds, just like this. It's not as effective as uh, you know using the noises, but if you really want a cloud in a specific spot, you can draw your own cloud. Uh, but let me uh, crank up the global nation settings again. So we'll do QMC, light mapping, bump this up to 6,000 like I did before. For gamma 1.5, get a really nice result and that should be good. And if you want to really you know, get rid of the noise and stuff like that, we can just do uh, adaptive. We'll do automatic for the sampling and bring down the overall uh, shading error threshold, which is kind of like your noise, uh, to 10%. And then ambient occlusion. Uh, ambient occlusion, we do have 
uh, sum uh, in there. So maybe let's do four and do a, you know the final render to see what this uh, all the stuff that we just did what, what that looks like. So we just render it out. Alrighty, guys. So the render just finished, and it took quite a bit to render because I did crank up the settings on pretty much everything. But we did get a clean result, as you can see. There's barely any noise. And uh, if you compare, this is uh, all the stuff that we added: the skies, uh, the clouds, the turbidity, the humidity, whatever you want to call it. All the stuff that we clicked on is here, and we get a really nice little uh, reflections there as well. And if we compare what we did. So this was the HDRI lighting or image-based lighting, and then we switched it back to physical sky. And this is where you, where you can get really nice, different feel for your images and uh, set up a mood and so on. And uh, for those of you who have stayed this long to watch this video, I'm going to give you a quick tip of how to hide your, um, you know, sky for being seen by camera. So all you have to do is click on tags, uh, Cinema 4D tags, uh, go to compositing. And just turn on scene by camera, and bam, uh, your uh, physical sky is not in the camera view. So now, if you render, for example, like this, you're not gonna see any of the sky in the background. And it works the same way for uh, the actual sky object when you apply the HDRI image that I had before, like this. All you have to do is uh, copy paste the same tag because I already clicked scene by camera here or unclicked. And now it's not here, as you can see, even though I have the material on top of the sky. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, please hit a thumbs up if you like this video and it helped you in any way. Uh, also, please subscribe and um, I'll probably see you in my next video, guys. Uh, have a good day.